Hello everybody and welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. My name is Stefan. I'm back at this 12 gallon bookshelf tank because I just did a significant clean of it. I did a lot of plant moving around and trimming and cutting out and um, played around with the emergent growth as well as the immersive growth. And I just have never seen it so uh, pristine, frankly, uh, if I do say so myself. And the day after I did all that work, I mean, it, it was everything from adding some twigs back there to replicate the uh, roots that were coming down from these plants up here, as well as um, some stuff that had hybridized sort of both in and out of the water. I took a water test using the API kit and the parameters were damn near perfect across every metric. Uh, and usually in my tanks, there's some kind of issue. Either there's a higher pH than I'd like because of Chicago water, or um, worse, there might be a minor amount of nitrites, the worst of them all. And then most typically uh, parameters of nitrates that are just a little higher than I would like. Nothing cataclysmic in any of my tanks. I mean, I do a great job trying to keep that from happening. I mean, I work endlessly at it, as I know you guys do too. But the parameters here, um, about 24 hours after I you know, did the usual stuff, a water change, filter maintenance, etc. cetera, um, I did not see any sort of spike that I might ordinarily see if I mess heavily with the tank, ammonia or something like that. Instead, I'm getting this crystal clear water and um, zeros across the board in terms of the readings. Obviously not pH, but pH is about 6.5, which is as low as it gets in my tanks. And the denizens uh, are very, very happy. I've got the neon blue rasboras. Um, they're in that wonderful under, uh, under shelf there. They come out all the time. And there's the uh, wild uh, margaritas pencil fish, if I'm saying that right, maybe I can find. There's a couple that like to be out of uh, the groups per se. There's uh, Otto Cinco's catfish. There's pink flamingo cryptocorn. Uh, it had been struggling, but it looks pretty damn good now. I've got those two plants panning across. I've got the one here, uh, bigger cryptocorn, obviously. I pulled a ton of moss, which uh, is wonderful until it isn't. This is a, a quality moss, not Java moss. I hate Java moss, I'm gonna be blunt. Unless you're breeding, I don't like it in um, aquascapes, but uh, I don't like to do a lot of hating in these videos. And matter of fact, I don't do any. So admitting that Java moss kind of bums my head, it's a bit of a rarity for me. So forgive me all you Java moss aficionados. Like I said, it's great for breeding, but for aquascaping, I prefer the darker green and more delineated um, structure that you might get in a Christmas moss or a weeping moss like this. I think this is weeping moss or spike moss. It's one of those two, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've got chili rasboras. There's a few of them and they're finally getting that deep magenta color that I adore so much. And they, they are very happy tank mates with the neon blue rasboras and pencil fish. So I finally dialed in the three fish that uh, can work for me in this nano tank um, when you're doing a nano tank and you're going long it really affords you the opportunity i think to put more fish and do and have more fun with the aquascape as you can clearly see i've done here i haven't mentioned uh, certain other things i just did a video on this tank um, i added this pothos uh, cutting from my sump in the other room just put it there. Uh, it already is growing and I cut some of the roots. Now I put that in a week ago, not yesterday. Uh, and as I pull back, you can just see how cool and fun this is, especially the, I've left this alone for eight, nine months now. 
and the moss up here i mean look at it it is now permanent and fabulous i love that and i don't even mind the duckweed and frog bit collecting there in the corn just as it would in a, a pond at the edge of a lake or a river in a quiet spot and that's what i was looking for when i created this tank and i've got it i hope you agree and it was my pleasure to show you this fish tank and as always keep your hands in the tank ciao for now